Today we will talk about the sirens from Greek mythology. They were once beautiful nymphs, loyal friends of Persephone, the goddess of spring. When she was kidnapped by Hades, the lord of the underworld, they begged Demeter, the goddess of the harvest, to grant them wings so they could fly and find her. Demeter agreed, but warned them that if they failed, they would be cursed to sing forever in a lonely island. The nymphs flew across the world, but could not locate Persephone. They returned to Demeter, who was furious and kept her word. She turned them into half-bird, half-woman creatures and banished them to a rocky isle in the sea. There, they sang their sad songs, hoping to attract someone who could help them break the curse. But their songs had a dark power. They enchanted anyone who heard them, making them forget everything else and follow their voices. Many sailors met their doom by crashing their ships on the rocks or drowning in the waves, drawn by the sirens' irresistible melodies. The sirens also craved recognition and fame and challenged other musicians to compete with them. They faced the muses, the daughters of Zeus and patrons of arts, but lost and had their feathers plucked as a prize. They also faced Orpheus, the son of Apollo and a master of music, but he played his lyre so skillfully that he drowned out their voices and saved his companions from their spell. The sirens remained trapped in their island, singing their songs of sorrow and despair, waiting for someone who could resist them and free them from their fate. But no one ever did. They became a legend, a symbol of temptation and danger, a reminder of the hidden worlds that lie beyond the mortal realm.